G'day guys, my name is Don and you're watching my channel Don Astronomy. About six months ago I made a video on this little Skywatcher Uveguide 50ED in which I use it as my primary telescope. In that video um, I also talked about trying to get a little travel rig together and that was the main purpose I was testing this little scope out. I've finally done that six months later I've saved up enough money now and I decided to go with the Star Adventurer GTI and I bought the model which included the tripod and uh, so what I'm going to do with this I've also I'm going to use the little Skywatch E EV Guide 50 ED is my primary scope. I've purchased a little kind of generic uh, guide scope from Tesdar in Sydney. And with this system, I'm going to use my QHY294C color camera as my primary camera for this. I have a um, filter drawer and my fill flattener for that. I've also uh, purchased a little mini PC because I was worried about how I was going to get all do all my acquisitioning. So now I've got multiple choices. This actually runs Windows 11, which I'm a bit skeptical of, but I'll I'll give it a go. Um, and I can run Sequence Generator Pro or a number of programs. But I'm actually going to um, to try to run Nina off this for the first time and give that a go. Um, be adventurous. I I could put um, Sequence Generator Pro on it, but I'm just going to give Nina a go. And uh, to power it all, I bought a uh, 120 watt, 12 volt power supply and some breakout cables. So that uh, breaks out to four different 2.1 millimeter sockets. So which will power my, um, I can power my mounts. Uh, I can power my cameras, um, possibly a dew heater. And the PC itself is 12 volts, which is really handy. So I'm gonna put it all together and hopefully uh, it will work. It gets tricky. So I've got to try to mount the little Evo guide. I do have a little mounting plate, the original one that was on it, but I had to adapt it to fit onto the top of my Edge HD. So I'm gonna to have to take this plate off, put this dovetail plate on. But the other tricky thing that I have is with my new little guide scope, trying to find a place to put it. So what I'm thinking of doing is um, probably strapping on my GoPro now, taking a little trip to the shed, trying to find uh, a little piece of metal that I can put across the top of these uh, guide rings here and mount uh, my guide scope on top of that, drill a hole in the center. And um, I'm hoping it can just sit on between those two screws like so with a, some kind of a metal plate. So it's gonna to have to be a little bit of a customized job. So uh, time to strap on the GoPro and uh, go to the workshop. So I've, this is a, um, dovetail bar connector, one of a better word, but my guide scope will actually go into that and I want to mount it on top of my guide rings and I just found some channel, this is the, you find these in um, electrical circuit boards and I'm not sure of the exact name but basically your circuit breakers or clip onto this and uh, I had it lying around and I think this is going to work really well. Uh, I'll be able to just 
mount that on there. I'll probably cut it off here. And this actually even fits right over that. So I can just drill a couple of holes and mount that in there. And I think that's gonna work really well. So I'm pretty lucky with that find. Let's give it a go. We are back and I think that's come up really well. So I think it's actually called DIN rail and you get it, you mount your circuit breakers on it, you put it onto, um, into power boards, electrical power boards, but it just works so well uh, for this. So I think, I've, I think I've found something here, could be onto something. Anyway, so we'll continue on. Beautiful. I'm pretty happy with that little guide camera mounting system. Okay, I'll keep going. really don't want to crossroad this. That would be horrendous. I need a spacer to go in here. So I'll be back. Okay, I have my spacers. So hopefully this time my camera will go on. I've noticed this before. This is actually a ZWO filter drawer. And they don't marry up to um, QHY cameras real well. Notice on my 268M as well. You get to the end and it just, the thread just keeps going around and around. So they aren't 100% compatible. But if, I find if you put a spacer in there, it will work. Here's my little PC, believe it or not. Have a look at the size of that. And that's got uh, three USB ports. So that'll do my guy camera, my imaging camera, and it'll even control my mount, which is great. Um, there's also Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi 6 on this. Uh, it's pre-installed Windows 11. It runs off 12 volt, which is excellent because um, now pretty much everything is 12 volts. Including, including my mounts, my cameras. Um, and what I intend to do is use my tablet. I want to actually, uh, and my phone. So I'm gonna use my phone as a hotspot. And so my tablet and this will connect to my phone. And then through uh, Windows Remote Desktop, I'm hoping to control everything from my tablet. So I won't have a, um, I won't have a screen at all, which is great. So the next tricky part about this is, where am I gonna mount it? It does come with a mounting bracket, but I think I was pretty impressed with that, um, that rack that I had, that dim narrow, that I might see if I can utilize that somehow. So it might be another trip back to the workshop to do that. Uh, but it would be nice to have it mounted somewhere. It's so light it doesn't really weigh that much, a few hundred grams. It'd be nice to have it mounted somewhere there. Okay, back from the workshop. So what I've done is I've used some of that DIN rail again and pretty much bolted it. Luckily I had some nuts, some bolts, sorry, that had the same thread that just threaded straight in there. So I cut them short so they'd fit into the dovetail bar and I've just put a little bracket on and some screwed into the bracket that come with the computer. So I think that's gonna work very nicely. Okay, I've got the little rig together now 
How cute is that? I think that's pretty cool. And uh, now, just before I mount this, I've just got a couple of things I want to point out. A couple of things I'm disappointed in on this mount. Basically, the first one is this silly grub screw that holds the battery cover down. I nearly lost that the first time I used it in the observatory floor. Um, and also, there's this silly uh, poloscope cover that works okay. Well, it doesn't really work okay. It just kind of sits in there. But by the time you try to put the cover on, it's just going to bounce straight back out. And once, and even this cover itself is very hard to get in and it's very flimsy. Um, the poloscope cover itself, I, I don't actually use it. I just can't get it to stay in there properly. When I do get it staying there properly, you only have to bump it and the whole thing comes out. It's rubbish, total rubbish. I'm not gonna use it. I'll come up with something better myself, which is unfortunate that I have to do that. Uh, the other thing that um, concerns me is the declination axis here. When I undo the clutch, it's really stiff. Um, and it feels like it takes me about a half a kilo at least of torque before I can turn that. So I would have imagined that's gonna make it hard to get balanced, but we will see. Okay, so we'll try and get balance. And on she goes. Isn't that just sexy? Wow, I like it. Okay, um, my RA should already be pretty good, uh, roughly. Yep, I'm happy with that for now. Um, and declination, of course, she's a bit bottom heavy. Push that up. That's pretty good. And I'm gonna to have to do this again once everything's, uh, all the cabling and everything's connected up. So I'll lock that in. I'm pretty impressed with this and I can't wait to use it. Um, please join me in part two. Uh, part two, I'm going to actually get all this cabled up and get the computer powered up. I'll get my power supply on and I will also put all the software onto this computer, all the acquisition software. I think I've got SharpCap and Nina and all the uh, Ikimod, dri Ikimod and Ikimod drivers and ASCOM drivers, QHY drivers, all the stuff I need. Um, so we'll get that up and running and uh, hopefully there's not a part three, but if there is a part three, it'll be the little thing in action, which I can't wait to see. Um, so please subscribe.